Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Noosh from AndroidRoots.com and today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get this Galaxy S5 feature called one-handed operations on any Android device. So currently this feature is only exclusively available on Samsung Galaxy S devices and as far as I believe, I believe it's only available on the Samsung Galaxy S5 since how big that screen is. It makes it really hard for you to reach all four corners of the screen all the time unless you're using two hands and if you only have one hand available you really can't reach all the screens um, so that's why they went ahead and included this feature to make your screen smaller so you can go ahead and use all four corners all edges of the screen really easily you know without you know constantly moving your hand up and down from the screen to reach all the corners for all the people who have smaller hands um, that really can't reach all the corners of a big 5.1 inch screen like the Galaxy S5 and it works really well and it's a really nice feature but unfortunately it's all, only available for the Samsung Galaxy S5 as far as I believe. Um, it works really well. I really like it um, and a lot of people with smaller hands will really like this too since it comes in handy a lot of the time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get it on a device like the Nexus 5 and this feature will work with every Android device as far as I know. It should work with any Android device. Just make sure you're running on Jelly Bean, usually Jelly Bean or above and you'll be good to go. Um, it should work with the Galaxy S3, Nexus 4, Galaxy S4, really any other any device. Um, in this case I'm going to be using the Nexus 5 to demo this um, feature. Um, and you do have to be rooted to get this done. Um, so if you're not rooted, make sure you, uh, you do get that done to actually get this feature. Um, so first thing you're going to be doing is make sure you do have exposed installer downloaded and installed. Um, if you guys are wondering on where to get all these files, I have a link down below in the video description where you can go ahead and pick up all of these files, all these APKs I'll mention in this video, all within that video in that link in the video description down below. Um, so once you have exposed install installed, which is pretty simple to do, make sure you just go to file manager, go ahead and download this one other APK. So one hand mode, uh, version 1.3, could be a later version, um, dot APK. Uh, just go ahead and tap on it. And like I said earlier, I have a link to this file linked down below. Tap on install. It'll go ahead and install. You can go ahead and tap on done. Exposed module up here will tell you it's not activated. So just go ahead and tap on that. Uh, enable it just by checkmarking it and now let's go ahead and tap on it that'll launch the application and this is the one-handed mode options so in my case I'll go ahead and set the left margin to 150 and also the top margin to 150 as well I'll go ahead and tap on apply and I'm good to go um, as you can see now um, it is there we go now it's fixed um, it was a little bit off centered but now as you can see I have a gap right here and a gap at the top as well now let's say for instance I open up Chrome as you can see, there's a gap now, which is really nice. So I can go ahead and reach all four corners. Let me go ahead and uh, move my hand first. I can reach all four corners really, really easily uh, without it being a hassle. I can go ahead and launch Twitter, and it'll be the same experience. Um, so this feature will work with every Android device, which is really nice, I got to say. Um, I'm a really big fan of this, and works really well. It works 100% um, of the times. I haven't had any um, issues with this. I haven't had any uh, forced closes or anything. It works with the camera applications, too, um, as you can see. Um, so it's a little bit weird as the top doesn't really uh, work or anything, but the, the left side does uh, uh, have that gap. So you can go to camera too. And then as you can see, it does work. Okay, so now it's actually working. Now you have the gap at the top and the gap at the left-hand side too. You can go ahead and take a picture really easily. Um, so all applications work. Um, the only difference is that you have a gap at the top and left-hand side. And of course, you can go ahead and change those settings to your per personal preference. Uh, if we go ahead and go back into the application, you also have options to change the gap for the right margin and also a gap for the bottom margin as well. Um, but that's it guys, I'll also have written instructions for this and linked to all the APKs, rooting, uh, exposed and solid APK, linked down below in the description. But that is how you get the Galaxy S5 one-handed operations mode on really any rooted Android device super easily. Um, it only takes a few minutes to actually get it up and running once you are finished rooting. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom fan corner right there. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, which will also be located down below in the video description. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.